The History of Submarine Diving Submarine diving is the act of operating a submarine, a watercraft that can submerge and operate underwater. Submarine diving has been used for various purposes, such as exploration, warfare, research, and tourism. But how did submarine diving start? What are the milestones and challenges of submarine diving? And what are the current and future trends of submarine diving? The answer to these questions requires a historical overview of submarine diving, from its ancient origins to its modern developments. Here are some information that can help provide such an overview. Ancient Origins The concept of diving underwater was first used in military contexts in ancient times. For example, in 413 BC, during the siege of Syracuse, a Greek inventor named Archimedes allegedly designed a device that could submerge and attach hooks to enemy ships. However, there is no conclusive evidence that such a device was actually built or used. Early Attempts The first recorded attempt to build a submarine was made by William Bourne, an English mathematician, in 1578. He proposed a design of a wooden vessel that could be submerged and surfaced by adjusting its water ballast. However, he never constructed his design. In 1620, Cornelis Drebbel, a Dutch inventor, used Bourne's design to build a submarine that could dive to 15 meters and navigate by wooden oars outside the hull. He demonstrated his submarine several times on the Thames River in London. 18th Century The 18th century saw several innovations and experiments in submarine diving. In 1727, Nathaniel Simons patented a design of a submarine that used leather bags for buoyancy control. In 1775, David Bushnell built the Turtle, the first submarine to be used in combat. The Turtle was a one-man wooden vessel that could move vertically and horizontally by hand-cranked propellers. It also carried a mine that could be attached to enemy ships. However, the Turtle failed to sink any ships during the American Revolutionary War. In 1800, Robert Fulton built the Nautilus, the first practical submarine. The Nautilus was made of copper and iron and could dive to 25 meters and stay submerged for an hour. It also had a sail for surface navigation and a periscope for observation. Fulton tried to sell his submarine to France. Britain, and the United States, but none of them showed interest. 19th Century The 19th century witnessed the development of more advanced and powerful submarines, especially with the introduction of steam power, electric power, and torpedoes. In 1804, Robert Fulton built another submarine. The Mute or Plunger, which was powered by a steam engine on the surface and compressed air underwater. However, the mute was unstable and difficult to control. In 1864, H. L. Hunley built the Hunley, the first submarine to sink an enemy ship in war. The Hunley was a hand-cranked iron vessel that carried a spar torpedo. It sank the USS Housatonic during the American Civil War, but also sank itself shortly after. In 1888, John Philip Holland built the Holland I. The first submarine to use both electric batteries and an internal combustion engine. He later improved his design and sold it to the United States Navy as the USS Holland, the first modern submarine in service. 20th Century The 20th century marked the golden age of submarine diving. Especially during the two world wars and the Cold War. Submarines became larger, faster, quieter, and more deadly than ever before. They also played crucial roles in naval warfare, espionage, deterrence, and exploration. Some of the notable submarines and events of this century include the U-boats of Germany, which conducted unrestricted submarine warfare against Allied shipping during World War I and World War II. The USS Nautilus of the United States Navy, which was launched in 1954 as the first nuclear-powered submarine. It also made history in 1958 by crossing the North Pole under the ice cap. The K-19 of the Soviet Navy, which was launched in 1959 as the first nuclear-powered submarine with nuclear ballistic missiles. 
It also suffered several accidents and malfunctions, earning the nickname Hiroshima. The Trieste of the French Navy, which was a bathyscaphe or deep diving vessel that reached the deepest point of the ocean, the Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench, in 1960. The Typhoon class of the Soviet Navy, which was launched in 1980 as the largest and most powerful submarine class ever built. It carried 20 intercontinental ballistic missiles and could break through ice to launch them. The Kursk of the Russian Navy, which was launched in 1994 as a nuclear-powered cruise missile submarine. It sank in 2000 after an explosion and fire on board, killing all 118 crew members. 21st Century The 21st century has seen the continuation and diversification of submarine diving, with new technologies, challenges, and opportunities. Some of the current and future trends of submarine diving include The Virginia class of the United States Navy, which is a nuclear-powered attack submarine that entered service in 2004. It features advanced stealth, sensors, weapons, and communication systems. It can also carry special operations forces and unmanned underwater vehicles. The Type 094 of the People's Liberation Army Navy, which is a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine that entered service in 2007. It is China's second-generation strategic deterrent and can carry 12 intercontinental ballistic missiles. The Scorpion class of the French Navy, which is a diesel-electric attack submarine that entered service in 2010. It is designed for coastal and oceanic missions and can be equipped with air-independent propulsion and land-attack cruise missiles. The Astute class of the Royal Navy, which is a nuclear-powered attack submarine that entered service in 2010. It is the most advanced and quietest submarine in British history and can carry Tomahawk cruise missiles and spearfish torpedoes. The Titan of Ocean Gate Expeditions, which is a manned submersible that entered service in 2018. It is designed for deep-sea exploration and tourism and can dive to 4,000 meters and carry five people. It was involved in a fatal accident in 2023 when it collapsed while diving near the wreck of the Titanic.